All right, at the top of the hour, this is Shock Jock Jock with another episode of Confess Your Crime. It's time for all you scumbags out there to clear your conscience for another week until you fuck up again. Father Jacques will hear your confessions now. The lines are open. Who is our first brave soul? All right, on line one, we have Kelly from Newark. Now, what'd you do, Kelly? I shoplift all the time. Oh, is this Winona Ryder? <laughs> what? Winona, when are you going to start making good movies again? I mean, seriously, I need them. 
My name is not Renona, it's Kelly. I was an attempt to humor Kelly, but thank you for your call. <laughs> Who else we got? All right, let's see. On line two, we have Anthony from Queen. What'd you do, Anthony? Whoa, I can't believe I actually made it on. <laughs> All right, check this out, guys. <laughs> I masturbated on a public bus. Oh. Yeah, you mean in in the bathroom stall? No, no, no. I mean, like, right in my seat. Like, I used my coat as a cover, and, like, the girl next to me was asleep, so... Uh. Dear God, a Anthony, I feel like there's there's another show that you should be <laughs> calling right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Anthony, Anthony, um, I, I don't know why. I, 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 I have to ask you this right now. I'm going to die of morbid curiosity. Uh, oh, I don't want to do it. <sighs> How old was the girl you were sitting next to? I mean, I think she was 15 or 16. Oh, and that okay. is the end of that conversation. <laughs> Thank you for calling in, Pee-wee. <laughs> <laughs> Who else we got? All right, let's see. Okay, line three. We have Dean from Brooklyn. What'd you do, Dean? You there, Dean? Dean? Yeah. Yeah, this is Dean. <laughs> I'm already intrigued. You're going to confess your crime, Dean. The suspense is killing us. I met a girl at a club one night. She came back to my house with me, and then we started to have sex. I, I want to cut you off, Dean, but I just can't bring myself to hit the button. I don't... What happened next? Well, well, things went fine at first, but then things started to get a little rough. She didn't like that very much. She wanted to leave. Then what? Oh, as you can imagine, I, I was pretty upset. I, I started to hit her. You beat her up? Yeah, I... I no, no, I, I... I don't think she made it. Dean. Did you kill her? I... I don't know, I... Yeah. Yeah, I did. I know I did. How long ago was this thing? I don't know, maybe. I, I don't know, about five years ago. Uh, Dean, Dean, uh, have you told anyone else about this? No, no, look, I, I really gotta go. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. G goodbye. Uh, Dean... Well, ladies and gentlemen, that just happened.
Did you notice that we passed Janice's store on Woodlawn today? We passed many stores on Woodlawn. The clothing store. And? That was where you bought the white dress for me. From Janice. And? Do I need to spell it out for you? I, I want you to buy the white dress for me again. I don't think so. Why not? I don't think it's a good idea. So you're not going to do it? I'm saying that we don't need to spend the money right now. So we're broke? No, we're not broke. We're actually doing very well. But it's not exactly a necessary purchase now, is it? I think it is. I'm hungry. Yeah. You know what you're getting? Not yet. Yeah, well, pick fast. I want to make this a quick bite. I don't want it to be a quick bite. I want a nice, relaxing lunch. Okay, we can have a relaxing quick bite. Okay, why don't you just pick for me? Is there something wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Come on, <sighs> tell me. I thought I saw him again. Like the last time we were out here. And? <laughs> and I thought I saw him. Okay, what did he look like? What do you mean, what did he look like? He looked, you know what he looks like. Yeah, but he'd have to be much older now. His mid-sixties, probably. He looked exactly the same. So he hasn't aged at all? He looked the same. Did he see you? Did he say anything? No. Anything else? He was wearing the same suit. Why? <laughs> what, what do you mean, why? Why would he be wearing the suit? I don't know why he would be wearing the suit, but he was wearing the suit. What, he was just taking a stroll through town wearing a suit? What, did he just get out of a wedding or something?
Can I come in? Good morning. I'm just going to take your blood pressure. Thank you. Just lift your arm for me. Perfect. 120 over 67. And then just your pulse. Beautiful. 75. Call me if you need anything. She's awake. You can go see her now. Edie and I are here for you. Anything you need, just don't hesitate to ask me. Has she given any indication that she might do something like this over the last few days? Yeah, Tom, for the longest time, I hoped she wouldn't turn out like her mother. I realize she is her mother's daughter. Billy, you're not gonna like what I'm gonna say next, but I think it's something that needs to be said. I think it's time you looked into finding some sort of facility that you can send her to, just for a little while, to... Dylan.
Hello? Dylan, hi, how are you? Janice, hi. Um, Janice, look, do you remember about five years ago I asked you to uh, make a dress for me? Oh, yes, I remember the one your mother wore. Yes, well, it turns out Christine seems to have misplaced it. Could you possibly make another one for me? Let me see if I still have the pattern, okay? Okay. And I do. Oh. I can make it for you. Oh, great. And I will call you when it's done. Well, thank you so much. You have a good day now. Thank you. You too. All right. Bye, bye, -bye. Dylan. Can I help you? Hi. I'm here to see Michael Hampton and Tyler Hall. They said they would see me. Sure. What's your name? Rich Holstein. Is so Rich Holstein here to see you? Great. I'll be right down. Okay. I'll just wait. So my studio manager has been giving me a lot of heat the last couple days because you have been calling him nonstop about our show. Mike, um, my fiance went missing five years ago. This happens all the time. You get a couple of college students, they're staying up late, they're drinking. One thing leads to another and they call on our radio station acting like there's some murderer. They're just trying to scare people. I mean, that's what they did with you. I mean, they got you to believe that they they had murdered your fiance. What was her name? Uh, Sarah. Sarah. They made you think that they killed Sarah. That's all it is. A couple shithead kids. It's a hoax. I know it was him. Okay? I I'm positive it was him. I just need some help because I know she's alive. Have you gone Maybe to the police with this? No, no, no. I didn't go to the police. That's why I'm here. Maybe there's a way that you guys can triangulate the call or just like I gotta be on help me. Whenever you get a chance, Zach wants to see you in his office. Come in. You wanted to see me? Yeah, take a seat. How are you? Say it like that. Why? Because it makes me feel like I should be lying on a couch. Well, I'm uh, sorry if you're offended by my concern for your well being. I understand you've taken a leave of absence. You understand correctly. How long do you uh, intend for this leave of absence to be? Two weeks. Sure, that's how long it's going to be, Rich? What are you trying to say? Did I fuck up? I mean, the reports or something? If not, I'd like to finish my Friday in peace and... Yeah, well, it's not your work performance. It's you we're worried about. Zach, have you ever thought that this is something that I need to do for me? You can call me an insensitive prick if you want to, but maybe I thought that you could uh, work it out here and work it out at home. Do both. Goodbye, Zach. Rich. Rich, if you walk out of here, I'm not sure there's going to be anything here for you when you come back. Goodbye, Zach. Rich! I think the guy who called in may have really done something unsavory. You know, that wasn't a fucking hoax. Hmm?
Look, in the 70s, a guy called a radio station posing to be the Zodiac Killer. Yes, and the call was traced to an insane asylum? Nevertheless, ever since then, the police required that every radio station have some sort of tracking device on the soundboard in case Ted Bundy or Osama bin Laden calls it. Did you get an address? He wasn't on long enough. Mike and I tried to keep him on the phone, you know, but uh, he hung up before we could get an exact location. We were, however, able to pinpoint the call to one general area. Do the police know about this? No monsters in the closet, remember? This is honestly all I can give you. I just came back to pick up a couple of things that I missed. I'm sorry. About the other night, I apologize. Waiting for you to stumble in, wasted at two o'clock every morning, Rich, is just not something I can handle anymore. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Can we just forget about it? I told you not to listen to the radio station, I... Didn't I tell you it would fuck with your head? What do you want me to do? Do, do, you, do you want me to make pretend I never heard his voice? Because that was Rich, him. Rich, and you don't believe Rich, me. Rich, you don't believe Rich. me. Is that it? When is it going to end? I don't know. It's, it's, it's has, look, it has nothing to do with us. It's just these dreams that just keep... Always with the dreams, yes. Rich. Why don't you come inside? No. Did you ever think if you just allowed yourself to be happy, then maybe the dreams would go away? Do what you need to do. Just, just find a way to finish this, okay? You look like shit, like crap. 
We're not allowed to say that either. Just wait till you drop the F-bomb, then you can worry. Did that actually happen? It's hard to control what you say when you drop a textbook on your toe. Ouch. So what'd you do for their silence? Bribe them with candy? Luckily, only a couple of them heard me, and they both like me, so. Some of them like you? Yeah, can you believe it? I can't. So, how's... Peter? Peter, yeah. How is he? He's, he's good. 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 Oh, God. Yeah, go. Are you OK? Are you OK? Come on. Come on, let's go to the office. Remember, the subject is what is doing the action in the sentence. The actual action is the predicate. That is what the subject is doing. The object of the action is called the direct object. It is receiving what the subject is doing, okay? Circle the direct object. Come on, Lisa, you can do this. No, I can't. Why not? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> you are not stupid. I don't want to hear you say that. You are not stupid. Who says that you're stupid? My daddy. Well, I I'm sure your daddy doesn't mean it. Can I go home with you, Mr. Beaufort? <laughs> no, you can't go home with me. You gotta go home with your mommy and daddy. I don't want to go home. How come you don't want to go home? I just don't. You're still here? So are you. I told him I was gonna see my sister in the city for the weekend. I left an hour ago. So why don't you ever eat in the teacher's lounge? Once you have 40-somethings laughing over which of their kids are gonna wind up in jail first, it kind of depressing after a while. Besides, I guess I like comfortable silences. I can see that. What do you mean? I mean, this whole setup you got here, it's kind of perfect for that. Yeah, I guess. So why do you want to be a teacher? Why, is there something else I should be doing? I don't know. Something bigger. Something that makes a lot of money. Something that makes more than what we get. You know, I came from money. I bet they remind you of that every day. Actually, my father walked out on me when I was two. And my mother committed suicide my senior year in college. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so sorry. Fortunately, I had a trust fund to fall back on. I was an only child. I got my master's, found this old place. After everything that happened, uh, simple life seemed like the most attractive one. Simple lives aren't always happy ones. Wait. What? I want to watch you undress. There's a 
white dress in the bathroom. I saw it in a store window a few weeks ago, and I thought you'd look amazing in it. I want you to go into the bathroom, put the dress on, and then come out here and strip out of it for me. Okay. Sarah? 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 Sarah?
Thank you. Good luck, Christy. Bye. Did you buy the dress? I did a bit more than that. Do you think I'm lying? Uh, Mr. Holstein. <sighs> okay, I just, I just need you to listen to this. Okay? I need you to listen to this recording. It's a guy that lives around here. Uh, Mr. Holstein. Please, would you just listen to this? Look, this is a nice, clean-cut town. Well, what exactly are you expecting to find here? I just need you to listen to this. Please. Please. If I get a minute, I'll let you know. Hello? Yeah. What do you want? You need some work done, or? No, I, uh, my sister, she, uh, she has this golden retriever. Um, she's a red tag. I don't know if you saw you it You think I took your area. dog? No, I'm not saying that. Maybe you just saw it around the area. Get well. the fuck off of my property. here on this one. Um, how old was the girl you were sitting next to? Mm, I think she was about like 15 or so. Whoa, oh. and that is the end of that conversation. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Pee-wee. <laughs> what else we got? All right, let's see. Line three, we have Dean from Brooklyn. What'd you do, Dean? <laughs> you there, Dean? Dean. Oh, Dean, hello. Yeah, this is Dean. Oh, I'm already intrigued. <laughs> you gonna confess your crime, Dean? The suspense is killing us. I met a girl at a club one night. Okay, now you've definitely got our attention. She came back to my house with me and we started to have sex. Okay, I don't think I, I, I want to cut you off, Dean, but I just can't bring myself to hit the button. What happened next? Well, things went fine at first, but then things started to get a little rough. She didn't like that very much. She wanted to leave. Then what? Well, as you can imagine, I was pretty upset. I... I started to hit her. You beat her up? Yeah, I... No, I, I, I don't... I don't think she made it. Dean, did you kill?
killer? I... I don't know. I... Yeah. Yeah, I did. I know I did. How long ago was this, Dean? I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. About five years ago. Dean... Have you told anyone else about this? No, no, look, I really gotta go. I I'm sorry. G g goodbye. Can I just ask you one thing? What makes you so sure that this is going to work this time around? Doesn't really matter, does it? Chocolate chip pancakes? Sure. Stay in this room. What? Don't come out. Mom, how are you? It's good to see you, Dylan. It's good to see you, too. Um, can we talk for a bit? Can we talk out here? Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. You get smaller every time I see you. What's he been feeding you? A lot of the green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got something to ask you. Okay. Um, Where's, um... Oh, she's upstairs sleeping. Make sure she gets plenty of that. I will. Make sure she gets plenty of fresh air. Yeah. We're both gonna get through this. You would know? I would. Um... How are you? I'm doing. You're a strong man, Dylan. I've known you since you were just a little boy. I remember driving by your mother's house and seeing you sitting on the porch eating ice cream. I'd wave and you'd wave back. When I think of all the things you've been through. Tom, you're creeping the hell out of me right now. Whatever this is, out with it. It's, 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 it's idiotic. Tom. All right, look, um, fella came to the station, a real crazy looking fella came to the station. I'm sure you got a lot of crazy looking fellas coming to the station. Yeah, yeah. A anyway, apparently there's this, um, cockamamie radio station in New York City where people can call in and confess what crimes they've done. And uh, this crazy looking fella's got a recording of somebody confessing to taking a girl home and raping and murdering her. The crazy fella thinks it's his fiance who disappeared five years ago. And? And, uh, 
the voice on the recording. Well, I, I'd be less than honest if I didn't say it sounded like you. What are you saying, Tom? Tom, haven't I suffered enough? Haven't you seen me suffer enough? For you to come over here and even suggest that I could be capable of doing something like that. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know. You're right. You're Absolutely right. I don't suppose the voice on the recording sounded anything like you after all. I mean, at my age, I can hardly hear anything anymore. I'm sorry, Dylan. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want you to give this another moment's thought. I won't. And I don't want you to either. I won't. Well, I, guess I better go on. I want crazy looking fellas to deal with. One's not accusing me of murder, I hope. No. I uh, think we've had enough of that for one day. Tom? You and Edie enjoy that blueberry pie I baked for you? We ate every crumb. I'm rich. You didn't knock. The door is open. 
I thought that you were him. If I didn't answer, you would go away. No, don't turn it on the freaking light. If you turn the light on, he's gonna know that we're here. Okay. You can't turn the light on. He's gonna see us. There's no, there's no one outside. Yes, there is. I can. I know. I know that there's somebody outside. Can you just sit next to me, please? Just. No, we can't go right now, Drew, when should, it's light outside. We, we, we should, can go when it's light outside. We can't go we when should, it's dark. We, we should, no, please just stay with me. No, stay with me until we it's go. light outside. Okay. 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 Just lay with me. Lay wait with me. light needs to be on. He can, he can feel us in the dark. He knows the dark, the light. You said it needed to be off. No, but he, he knows the dark. He can find us. I can feel that he's out there. Do you not think I'm pretty? No, you're... You're beautiful. So do you want to fuck me? Yes. Yes, sir. He used to hold me like this when I had nightmares. And then they'd go away. And then he stopped holding me and they came back. Was, uh, on this girl uh, in front of the mirror. That doesn't sound like that to me. The last day I saw uh, Sarah put a necklace on her in front of the mirror. Ago. The dreams just don't stop. Do you think if you had the necklace, the bad dreams would go away? Yes. Yes. Maybe I'll find the necklace and the bad dreams will go away.
My name is Dylan Beaufort. I'm the man you're looking for. Where's Christine? She went back to the house. You used her to lure me? Yes. Why didn't you kill me? Because the game's changed now. In what way? I think I know how I can make your bad dreams go away. But here is not the time or the place to tell you. I'll give you till the morning, and then I'll be waiting for you outside. It would be better if I drove. Did I not already say that if I wanted to kill you, I would have done it already? I'm here to help you. Do you know the story of Hansel and Gretel? What? The Brothers Grimm fairy tale, Hansel and Gretel. Do you know it? Yes. Well, in the version that I know, the one that I prefer, while Hansel and Gretel are trapped in the witch's house, the father back home realizes he's made a terrible mistake. He tries to go back into the woods to get them, the mother stops him. He kills her, goes back into the woods, finds Hansel and Gretel, and he brings them home. Let's start with a man and a woman who don't teach their daughter love, but do teach her that no one can be trusted. That daughter grows up to be a woman incapable of love, drives away the father of her two children, a son and a daughter, a woman incapable of letting anyone into her heart. And when there was no man to satisfy the needs that all women have, turned to her two children for them. The both of you? Some nights it was me, other nights it was Christine. I guess we felt that the time that was our responsibility, like a chore almost. I guess that's how kids think in situations like that. Yeah. How long did that go on for? Really wasn't the kind of thing we kept track of. Minutes turn into centuries in times like that. But it did stop for a while when he came. We're off in a little while, guys. We don't have to be there for another hour. Your mom wants us to be early, and we're going to meet her there. It's good to see one person excited for one of Mother's socialite freak shows. It's a charity event, and it means a lot to her, so let's try to put on a good face, all right? What's her problem? I told her there'd be dancing at this event. So, what's the big deal? She doesn't know how to slow dance. Shut up, Dylan. You said we have another hour before we have to go, right? Yeah. I think that gives us enough time. 
Christine Beaufort, may I have this dance? Okay, we're gonna start with a simple step touch motion. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Come on, do it with me. Just glide, glide with me. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. That's it now. Give me your hand like that and just back and forth. Step, touch, step. We played Greg and Marsha Brady for him, so he would never suspect anything. I took him aside one night and I told him everything. He was gone the next morning. No note, no phone call. He didn't even pack. A son and a daughter left with a mother who couldn't deal with it a second time. A mother who took her own way out with a razor and a tub full of water. Bleeding out in a bathtub is a relatively painless way to die. She never got the execution that she deserved. It was at that moment that I realized I had to give Christine the execution she never got. Everything was planned down to the last detail. Nothing could be overlooked. The suit he wore, the dress she wore, the razor she used, the song. I was about to leave when I saw her. We had some drinks, we talked about you, and then I asked her to come back to my place with me. She came willingly. The rest was clockwork. any consolation at all, I made it as quick as I could. Why'd you call the radio station? Oh, who knows? Maybe it was the last lingering thread of guilt left in me or the perverse idea of being able to tell everyone and no one at the same time. Or maybe I'd call so that you listen. It was meant to be for me to run into Sarah that night just as it's meant to be that you and I are in this car together now. You know, for a while I wondered why it didn't work the first time. First I thought it was because Sarah was too young. But now I realize it never should have been me holding the razor. An actor can't be an actor and a spectator at the same time. I need to sit next to Christine and hold her hand while someone else holds the razor. We have the evil mother, now we need the good father. Grace. How do I know you still have the necklace? <laughs> Silver pearl, steel chain, diamond shavings. I was gonna give it to Christine on her wedding day. I know, go figure, right? Why is this so important to you? Because he was the good father. He was the one who was supposed to come and take us out of the woods. <laughs>